What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another playthrough of Slave Aspire. Ended the last one with uh, with an unfortunate loss, and uh, during the recap, we discussed a little bit of what we're gonna do. I thought it over. I think we're gonna do a playthrough of Ironclad <clears throat> Ascension One, and then we're gonna, if we win, we're gonna do two. If we win, we're going to do three. I think we're going to do up to five. If we do five in a row, I think we'll have like a good feel for the class. And we'll switch over to the next one over and we'll do the silent. Once we get done with that, we'll do the same. Ascension one, two, three, four, five. If we lose, we'll switch. If we win, we'll stay up to five. I think that's, that's good. If... If you guys would prefer something else, go ahead and just leave a comment. I can definitely do continuous changing. That way it'll be a different video or a different class every time. But I think this will give us a chance to learn a class before we move on if we continuously win. And if we lose early on, well, we'll go learn a different class. <laughs> Without further ado, let's jump right into this one. So we're going to start off here with the Ironclad Ascension 1. See how it goes. Alright, what do we got here? Act one, what do we have for us, friend? Choose a card. Obtain three random potions. Lose eight max for 250 gold. Lose your starting relic. Obtain a random boss relic. Right, I don't think we're ready for the last one yet. We kind of want to get used to playing with our starting relic. Just adding a card doesn't seem too strong. Three potions is pretty powerful. Eight max HP for 250 gold. So that's essentially a store relic and a card, a store relic and a remove. So eight HP for a relic and a card, a relic and a remove, possibly a relic and a card and a remove if we buy one on sale. <clears throat> I think that's a good choice for them. We'll go with the 8 max HP for 250 gold. Doesn't seem terrible. Alright. So with Ascension 1, we're going to get more elites. So. Harder fights, but also more chance at relics, which is nice. I'm liking the row that leads us to this question mark here. Since we have the option to go shop into elite. Get a fire before that. So if we go up this way, we can get. You know how my, I like my events. Get our two unknowns into the campfire, which would be nice. We can upgrade or heal here. I think I like put the potential of upgrading right before an elite. I think we're gonna go that route. <clears throat> we got a couple little slimes. Let's kill this off. It's not like we have something that's three damage or anything cheaper. Nice, he's just licking us again. I love it when they just lick. No attacks. Let's see, what do we get? Shockwave. Apply three weak and vulnerable to all enemies. It's nice. Pummel Strike and Seeing Red. It's well, a lot of early energy. Get another energy, and I think when we up it, it's three. Oh no, it's free. Ten and two. Five weak and vulnerable. That's a lot of weak and vulnerable. That'll help us out. And that's two, though. That's kind of expensive. I think I like the pommel strike. 
last time we played, it would sy it synergized well with what we had in the deck. It drew us a lot of cards, did get damage. Seeing red is nice. It is plus one energy. It does exhaust, and we can make it zero. And I think we just go with the pommel strike. I think I like the early card draw. Meet your love tap and we'll block. <laughs> I love how they go into a different animation when they defensive curl. Almost strike the back one. Nice and clean, nice and clean. Alright, big reward. Got some block. Got deal damage equal to your block. And a war cry. So war cry is not really draw. It's kind of like fixing since it draws you one, then puts one back on top, so you can hold like a block if you don't need it that turn or something like that. It can be card draw though. It goes up to two. True grits shrinks our deck and gives us block, which is nice. Well, can't really make use of the body slam too well yet. Maybe later on. Um, go with the Warcry. If we get it upgraded, it'll be nice. We could have done that in the other order, but it is what it is. Put vulnerable on it. Kaka! Uh, we'll take the six. We can always just heal it back up. Hopefully, we get two. Uh, I should have put the defense. Uh. Did lower our chances. So. Nice little flex potion. I think a strength, right? Yeah. Got a headbutt, a thunderclap, and a drop kick. We only have one source of vulnerable right now, so it's not completely free. The headbutt is nice. We can get back one of our, we can get back our bash for more vulnerable. We can get back our pommel strike for more draw. Oh, it doesn't even go to two. You would think this would go to two on upgrade. Go with the headbutt. Um, yeah, we're gonna go this way and then up. You walk into a room to find a large hole in the ground. As you approach the hole, an enormous serpent creature appears from within. Ho ho! Hello, hello! What have we got here? Hello, adventurer. I ask a simple question. The most fulfilling of lies is that in which you can buy anything. Do you agree? So you get more gold. We got a lot of gold already. I don't think we want a curse. I think we're going to disagree. I don't think we need the gold. The serpent stares at you with a look of extreme disappointment. The curse was too much. Let's go to question mark again. Before you lies an elaborate shrine to a forgotten spirit. Oh, nice. The upgrade shrine. Um, let's go with the war cry. Uh, okay, we're going to go with the campfire before the elite so we can upgrade again. We're going to upgrade... Or pummel strike. Now we have a 10 damage card as well in case we ever run into that money event. Maga Woolian. Alright. Our hand's not too bad versus that. It's much better. Um, actually, let's put a strike. We're not going to use them all. Hit it with the bash. Um, actually, let's go ahead and headbutt it. Get back our, uh, 
or bash for next turn. Keep the vulnerable on it for an extra turn. Damn, we're taking. Oh boy. Now let's put the bash on it. Let's pummel strike and get through some of those defends we have left. Yeah, we're taking 18. Man, he's whomping hard. Ugh. Another 18. This is not going well. Alright, so we'll do that. Do that. And we'll take 13. Go ahead and drink the strength potion. Almost strike back on top. And we'll hit him with another one. Alright. Took a ton of damage there. Holy crap. Whenever you rest, you may add a card into your deck. Interesting. Gain six metallicize. What is metallicize? Exhaust the card, draw two. Gain two vulnerable at the start of your turn, you get an energy. Deal four damage and apply one vulnerable to all enemies. Keeps on giving us Thunderclap. So this is one mana for three cards and get rid of a card from the deck for the fight. Berserk might not be terrible if we upgrade it. Making ourselves vulnerable seems sketchy. Okay, let's go. Let's go with the berserk. We haven't tried it yet. It might pay off. Oh, we got the squad. And oh, they're all whomping. This, that'd be better than what we have. Nothing, right? Yeah, just more strikes and defends. Uh, let's strike that one. Use our artifact there to negate the negative effect. That way we don't get vulnerable and we keep our energy. That should help us out here. We need to kill this thing before it kills us. Wow, this is a very difficult fight. Holy crap, this is harder than the Elite was. Yeah. Alright. Well, at least we can stop the bleeding so if we can do two blocks a turn. Do these guys always attack? Looks like it. Alright, alright. 
finally whittled them down enough. As long as we can draw a block a turn, we can stop the bleeding. Looks good, looks good. That extra energy was a little useful. That's a scary fight without an early AoE, that's for sure. Clothesline, Heavy Blade, Bloodletting. Well, we've already lost quite a bit of life. I don't know how useful the bloodletting will be for us. Man, Heavy Blade, we don't have any strength, though. Let's go with the early clothesline. We could use the weak. Um, going up this way for the elite and the question marks. Oh, okay, nice. That'll help us out. Use the extra defense. Go for the upgrade. If I rest, what happens? I get a card. Twenty-one heal, and we get a card. Is that better than an upgrade? What can we upgrade? No, we need to upgrade our Berserk. We only get the one round of Vulnerable. We don't have the Artifact trick anymore. Oh no, a fight. Uh, Alright, we got double Mushrooms. This thing's killed me before. They don't have the Avocado with them this time, though. That's unfortunate. Did not draw more attacks that turn. Both swinging. So this is a kill. Let's see what we get. We get closed line, we get straight, and we need to draw another defensive one. Um, I guess we can pummel strike to see what we get. <laughs> Still no defend. Vulnerable on us, but nothing we can do about that. I'm not drawing any defense here. I would like to have double defended there to negate more of the damage so we can try to heal up a little bit. It is not happening. We can use the cleave for some AoE. We don't have any AoE right now. Those fights have been pretty tough for us. Just gonna grab the cleave. Uh, let's hit up the shop. We got a lot of money. Maybe we grab an artifact or two before the elite. Lizard tail, war paint, and toolbox. Well, we can pick up these two lizard tails nice if we would die we need a perfected strike oh. upgrade two random skills that's so just gonna be upgrade two blocks. That's not that great. I think I like the toolbox. Twenty-eight left. Well, we can buy second wind and hope that it, it, it hope it gets upgraded. It's <laughs> a good thought, right?
Alright, I think we're gonna go... Perfected Strike again. Go ahead and remove... A Defend. Buy the second wind. And then we buy the war paint and it doesn't upgrade it. Damn it. It was worth a try. It would have been nice to have an upgraded second wind. Oh, the old knobby. So we got interesting choices here. I guess we'll go with Jack of All Trades. So we get to do whatever we want to do again. Right. Can't use all of this. Um, actually, I'd like to do that again next turn, so we'll hold on to that. Actually, shoot. Well, I want to want to pummel strike this turn too. It's our biggest damage. And it's gonna pummel strike. I'm gonna draw it. Strike. So headbutt. And get the pummel strike back. Man, I wish we had our bash that turn. Or our uh, war cry for the vulnerable. Don't think we want to make ourselves vulnerable this Well, screw it. Take nine. But we, ne we got extra energy next turn, so hopefully we can kill him. 30. Okay, yeah, we got us. 30. Alright. Man, we're taking a ton of damage, though. Oh, nice. A strength every turn. That's big. We get big block. We already got an AoE. We get another headbutt. Um, let's go with the big block. We're gonna need it for the boss fight, I think. Madness. Dramatic entrance. Secret weapon. Let's go with the dramatic entrance. Give us some nice burst at the beginning. Let's see, maybe we can kill this thing. We got... 21, 10, 31, 40. We can kill the back one. And then we'll block the front. Alright, that looks good. Kill and full block. Can't get much better than that. Almost strike to start. Both the strikes are worth more. 14 out of that. So he's buffing. What do we need this turn? 16 damage. We got 7. We got 16 damage. Nice. Thank you, Strength Artifact. Our Relic. Blood for blood. Costs one less each time you lose HP this combat. Deal 18. Whenever you play an attack this turn, gain three block. Oh, that'd be nice. Dude. Double your block. Well, let's go with the rage. We don't really have a lot of life loss for that blood for blood. That is a nice card, though. Can heal. What are you upgrading? Ooh. 
So that adds five. I thought we had a pummel strike. Oh, it's already upgraded. So we have three, four, five, we have six. So that would be an additional six damage. That's pretty good. There you go. Perfected strike. Said another one earlier, but it was a pummel strike we had. Not perfected strike. The bomb. That seems good. this we can start off with pretty much all of our attacks Dude, 40 dang it costs two though um hmm, the finesse isn't bad we can use the little ah, we'll go with the violence really want to start with our bash and we don't get it all right let's keep looking i guess Still nothing. Well, we want to hold on to that. So let's go. We need a perfected strike. We don't want to use the pummel strike because we don't want to draw the armor. Let's go perfected strike into headbutt. Then we can do. Perfected Strike, Ghostly Armor, this turn. Taking one. It's not too bad. Alright. Rage gives us block when we attack this turn. Palisades, dude. Whatever it is, we might we can use it. Gain six block. Okay, that's what I thought. Um guess we'll rage. Block up. What does that put us at? Two over. Monroe takes 50% more, so it'd be 12 times, so 24, so we take 8, but we get the energy. That's fine. Oh, I forgot the metallicize. All right, perfect block. Let's go. Great potion usage. Okay. Perfected strike. Headbutt so you can use it again next turn. Strike. Alright, nice. This is going well. This is going well. We got our bash. Bash into Pummel Strike. Take three from the attack. We have the Metallicize. Alright, we're doing well. We're doing well. Oh, nice, we got our ghostly armor back. So I think we'll close line here to weaken. Ghostly armor, and we will strike. So we get full block again. Change modes. Right, we need to get big hits on him this round. This thing's not doing too well for us yet. So you can just regular nine block, three strikes. Oh, nice. Leaves us with full block still. Haven't been taking too much damage from this, I know I could have liked it. Rage. Vulnerable. There it is. First boss down. Dude, I like Ironclad. This is definitely my favorite of the classes so far. A fire potion. 
Barricade, Brutality, and Feed. The start of your turn, lose an HP and draw a card. Oh, that would be nice if we took that other card that, uh, whenever we lost life, its cost went down by one. Block is not removed at the start of your turn. We don't really have a ton of block, though. Feed. Deal 12. If we kill something, we raise our max HP. Well, that could be very good for us. Um. Man, barricade seems really strong, though. Let's go with the feed. Let's feed. We've tried that. Can't play six. Can't get potions anymore. That, don't, that doesn't seem terrible. Get a curse and three relics. Alright, so we can get... Three other relics, or we can get these. Hmm. Cannot play more than six. Well, that's not too bad for us. Let's think about it. We're not really... Cycling through our deck. We don't have a bunch of ones. We're playing bashes, perfected strikes. I don't think that's terrible for us then. We can bash and perfected strike in the same turn. I would still like to get potions. And this is just complete RNG and we get cursed. Um, let's go with the choker. I think we're just playing a bunch of two costs, and then we'll stick to that strategy for now. The bell is just too random. We can get just garbage. I think I like the choker. Alright, so this is just a straight shot, no decisions. We get two elites. Three campfires and three unknowns. Oh wow, we could get one, two, three, four campfires that way. We could kill a lot of elites too. One, two, three. We could technically fight four elites. It's quite a bit of elites. Miss out on a campfire for that elite. Uh, you know what I'm feeling? I'm feeling our deck. It seems pretty strong. I think we're going to go for those elites. So let's go... Question marks into elite. I'm liking where our deck is at. Whenever you apply a debuff, they take five. All right, we'll take that. Start with a bash, then. They didn't draw any blocks. Keep that wheat for next turn. We didn't have any block. That was unfortunate. We had to hunt for a little bit. Oh, nice. It's a good turn to use that. So we'll close line. We'll headbutt to get the bash back. And definitely got to kill next turn. Well, I don't want to say definitely. Draw our bat. Uh, I was gonna say, we draw a bash and perfect your strength. We definitely do. Cultist potion. Gain one ritual. Gain strength at the end of your turn. Oh, nice. So you're like those little birdies. Call, call. Got another war cry, body slam, and an upgraded heavy blade. So five times strength. So we get one strength every turn. So that this is a two for 19. We'll take that. That seems pretty strong. Alright, we're going up this way to our unknowns. 
fighting the bird squad. Alright, we need our cleave. Oh, here we go. Dramatic entrance. I like that. I don't think we're going to get much better use than using this here. Oh, that's unfortunate. I forgot I still have... Cleave AoE, we could deal with this and maybe finish off these in the back. So nine. So we'll go ahead and bash. In the back. Just gonna cleave. taking a lot less damage this fight if we attacked correctly, but we haven't been making the best decisions. Just slow down a little bit here. Alright. So he's taking flight again, so we have time to do this. Get our heavy blade. Alright, we just kill this turn. Kill that. And kill that. Okay. Oh nice, a skill potion, that'll be useful. Oh, our, our best friend, Whirlwind, and it's upgraded. We have Searing Red upgraded, too, though. And we already got four energy plus... We could do... We have five energy? Yeah, we already did Whirlwind, though. Um... Yeah, we can't, we can't pass up an upgrade to Whirlwind. That's too good. I have 179 gold. We could go to this shop at the end there. We're going to hold off on the shop. Let's go to the event. And it's a couple of Wampers. All right. Get some block. We try to gain some gold this fight. Um... Let's go see if we can get us some gold this fight. Got an early bash here. Hit him with a cleave. Break it up. So we're taking eight. Seems fine to me. Alright, nice. We got the one in the back to heal this turn. Did not draw any block. There we go. Oh, it does exhaust. I was even looking... Dang, I should have read it all the way. Oh, well. I was just doing it for damage. So, 28. So, 
49. It's not enough to kill that. Nine times four. Can kill this, can almost kill this. Could kill this one in the back and take some damage. Let's see what we draw. Close line. Do we agree twenty gold to take damage? Best play, we don't want to take too much damage. We do, we are trying to kill a bunch of elites. Right, full block, get 19. Maybe we'll cycle back through to that hand of greed here. That would be nice. I guess we could. Try to block our way to it. So much damage. Come on, hand of greed. Any day now. Oh, come on. Really? Game's rigged. It's rigged. Entrench, dual wield, scene red. Oh man, why couldn't this been upgraded like last time? Choose an attack, add a copy to your hand, add two more. I need a nice with a perfected strike. We get oh shoot, we could add a bunch of beads, whirlwinds. Whirlwinds aren't great. Yeah, that would be nice if we had the barricade. Um, we're gonna go with the scene red. We can upgrade it, and what we have is nice. We could use the extra energy. Venturing through a series of tombs, you are faced with a large sarcophagus studded with gems in the center of a circular room. You cannot make out the writing on the coffin. However, you do notice black fog seeping out from the sides. On playable innate curse, and we get a cop, and we get a relic. It's only fifty percent. It's fifty-fifty. Fifty-fifty. See? 50-50. We don't get it. You push open the coffin. The fog dissipates harmlessly. Inside, you find the mortal remains of a decorated soldier grasping an old relic. You pilfer it and move on. Oh, damn. We stole his nunchucks. <laughs> Nunchuck thieves. Alright, what do we got here? As you make your way through the large buildings, you come across a long, narrow bridge and spot knights on either side facing one another. You approach. Halt! A knight forcefully gestures you to stop with his giant lance. Alright. Today is the day I must settle the score with the murderer of my beloved pet, Noodles. <laughs> Until then, you may not pass. Fellow witness, why don't you bet on who you'll think will emerge victorious? I will go with the 70%. I can't believe you're betting against Noodles. Furious, he clams down his helmet and rushes towards his nemesis. Watch. 
Crash, clang, pow! The owner died. You win the bet. Unsure what to think? You grab your winnings and leave. Come on, man. That was a 70% chance for the other guy. Alright, that shop's gonna be pretty big for us. You're gonna have a bunch of money for it. Old book is stabbing. Whenever you attack... Oh, let's see here. Let's go with the damage. The enemy intends to... Okay, six for two. Whenever you receive damage from this enemy, add a wound. Okay. So it's definitely gonna rage this turn. Um, let's just go with the double debuff. Bash, close line, and we'll go with that. We want a skill? We want strength. No, and no. I think we should be fine. Famous last words. Right. Four times three. We can block 18. So six times three, so even with vulnerable, we can block it all. So we can do that with the defend. Oh wait, we're only blocking 15. That wasn't a defend plus. Oh well. We have five energy. We've only taken three. I'll take that for an energy for the rest of the game. Definitely doing that. Definitely doing that. And we'll strike. Nah, we get, we're gonna try to feed on this thing. We're gonna try to feed on this thing. Maybe not. This thing's gonna feed on us. Holy crap. Maybe we should have drank the strength pot. Oh, this thing's gonna kill us. We need to kill this thing like three turns ago. Um. Oh shoot, we could have killed it. We, we messed up. Oh well, it only cost us two. Should have just done our math. I forgot we had put the um the vulnerable on it. Alright. Oh, and we got none chucka. Whenever you play three or less cards during your turn, draw three additional cards at the start of your next turn. Okay, we could do that. Flex. Alright, let's go with the flex. That'll be big with the uh, heavy blade we picked up. Alright, we might have to go for the heal. We're gonna miss out on the elites, though. That kind of sucks. I'd rather survive than die. Oh, let's go with the mayhem. That, that was nice last time we played. Mayhem. And the berserk. Feed has been completely useless for us. Um, let's bash this one. This fight's scary as hell. Damn it, I want that flex. times six. A 
I think we got this. Later, nerds. <laughs> My powers were matched. <laughs> I just saw that at the end. <laughs> All right, so you have a pummel. Pummel strike. Let's go with the pummel strike. Pommel. I guess this is pommel. This is pommel. This is pommel. Let's go with the pommel strike. Draw us a card, and it increases our perfected strike. Oh, man. Elite or heal? If we go here, we miss out on this elite. We go to this one. Let's do it. We got this. What are we scared of? Taskmasters? Nothing. It's nothing to us. Oh, especially this. We got the Panchia. But we don't have any defend this turn. That's unfortunate. We play this, we're taking so much damage. No, I can't. We're already taking bajillion damage. Alright, I lied. I think this might be the death of us. We should have went for the campfire. This is only 30 damage. Do these guys just attack every turn? Holy crap. Well, we made it out of the fight, but holy crap, did we get our shit beat up. Is it worth? No. I'll well, take a twin strike, why not? It upgrades our perfected strike. Man. Can upgrade metallicize. We're gonna need whatever we can get for this fight. Focus stabbing. Oh shoot.
So that's 40. So I don't know if he's hitting us for 18. need to block out the rest of this damage try to end this fight with 30 HP which would be that would be great so that's 18 can't use that 15 damage just let it go Kill this turn. Fourteen. Fourteen. One almost fifty, so twenty-one. Yeah. Ooh, that heavy blade does work. Jeez. Okay, we heal two at the start of each. It's not terrible. The end of your turn, lose one HP and deal seven. Bludgeon. Infernal Blade. The one that gives us. Seeing red. Let's go with Infernal Blade. It can give us something good. Smith. Let's go with the free A2 energy. I don't know if that's the play, but. Neko, hey, we should take the bludgeon. Um, put an attack from here. Draw. All right, we'll take the secret weapon just so we can get bash. Actually, heavy blade might be really strong here. Thing. We only get six plays. Dang, we missed some damage there. Four there. Alright, we got it hit. Like, can we block till we get our feed? Kill him with feed no matter what next turn. And <laughs> draw it, and of course I dealt too much damage. Oh, whatever, the feed's just not meant to be. <laughs> that's that's all there is to it. We take the power to so have the second wind. Oh my goodness. Palma Strike, Clothesline, Dual Wield, Armaments, and Inflame. Ooh, the Inflame's nice. Hunai, Marbles, and Sling. Ooh, Elite Combat with two Strength. 
We have 355. Can we buy the kunai and that? 250? No, not a chance. Pommel Strike, we can get the Inflame, and we can remove a card. We are going to remove a Basic Defend. What boss is this? I don't think I've faced this one yet. Strike for our deck. I think we'll go with the shockwave. What the heck is this? The collector. Oh, mayhem. Let's go. Bosses don't count as elites. Oh shoot, we got the block. So we can do how much is this? Not quite enough to kill. So this is. So this is 18. The vulnerable. Well, I guess. What is it? Half of that. So I don't know if they round. So it'd probably be 12, 13 each. It's only 26. from them, not too much. Okay, got a big power turn here, it looks like. Ooh, drop kick is nice. Okay, so we could kill both of these. Even get a feed off on one. Talisize, we'll go to the inflame. Oh, it doesn't work. Hmm. 
Well, that was unfortunate. I was hoping to get the one time I try to get feed value, it doesn't work out. That's unfortunate. in on us. a little break. Oh shoot, we did a big hit there. I think we just got him now. Alright, Mayhem paid off for itself there. That was a tough cookie. Reaper, limit break, double tap. Next time. Double our strength. That seems pretty nuts. We could flex and then limit break the flex, and we could keep four four extra strength. Seems strong. Double tap. Could double tap vector strike, and we could double tap our heavy blade. Let's do that. Take the double tap. Black Blood replaces Burning Blood. At the end of combat, heal 12. Oh, shoot. So we upgrade that. Fusion Hammer. We can't upgrade anymore. At the start of combat, shuffle two wounds into your draw pile. That's not terrible for us now because we could potentially get a benefit from the wounds. Healing 12 seems nice, but... I think we still need to do upgrades. We want to really upgrade the Infernal Blade, the Double Tap, Pommel Strike. Let's go with the Mark of Pain. Alright, Act 3. Alright, one more act, one more act. Back to full health. Fight three elites again. Yeah, three rest sites. I have to skip the first elite to do the first sighting, though. No, that's not true. We can go. Yeah, we do one, two, three. Okay, all right. Let's do that. We'll go up this way. Um. Start here. Go up that way. We've got the Slime Squad. Draw two cards. Put a card from your hand on top. So it's just War Cry. Uh, let's go Pansia. We can maybe get rid of the Berserk. for now. Thank you. 
the only disadvantage to taking an artifact really is we did take the Velvet Choker, so we do just have to continuously play like our biggest damage cards. Hopefully we get a Whirlwind this turn. No Whirlwind. It's okay. It's almost right to try to find one. Let's hit this one just in case we do find it. Nope, seeing red. So that's just a kill. Taking one here. It's not bad. Should be able to kill both of those next turn. We got. We only gotta do 16 to the back one. Yeah, we just kill. Nice. Alright. That went well. Ooh, fully upgraded cards. We don't really need the weak. We got that shockwave. I think we're gonna go with the clash. We got the second wind to remove a bunch of the stuff. Oh. Hundred and thirty six for a relic. Yeah, we'll take that. Weak to all enemies. Nice. Oh, uh, we're gonna have the enlightenment. Perfect. Flex potion. Nice. Another perfected strike. Um, which elite do we want to go for? We'll go up this way to the events. We meet again. A cheery, disheveled fellow approaches you gleefully. You do not know this man. It's me, Ranwid. Have you have any goods for me today? The usual, a fellow like me can't make it alone, you know? You eye him suspiciously and consider your options. Uh, we can give you a strength potion, bro. Yeah, why not? Sundial. Every three times you shuffle your draw pile, gain two energy. Okay, that's useless for us. Our deck is huge. Exquisite was feeling parched. Gulp, gulp, gulp. He downs the potion in one go and lets out a satisfied... Uh. I was a little weak, but I, I tried. He rummages around his various pockets. Here, look what I've got for you today. Take it, take it. Appreciate you, bud. Appreciate you. Oh, did we miss play? Yeah, we're missing an elite. Shoot, we needed to go for this one. We need to go this way. Oh well, we'll get a. We'll go up this way instead. Oh no, we took away our money. We'll go up this way. Shit. We already used our money. Pathing fail, pathing fail. So we can get three random skills into our draw pile. We can get five into our hand that costs zero. We'll go with that. Let's go. That sounds fun. The bomb. All right, I'll take a little bit of damage, that's fine. We got one more card we can play. How's his health looking? 112. We could potentially kill him next turn with a good bash. That. Oh, and we got the bomb going off next turn, I believe. Double tap. 
Perfect. Boom. And we get our money. Hey, finally we get some side quest value. Oh, let's go with the heavy blade. That clash was a terrible pick, by the way, earlier. We should have never took that clash. We're going this way. Now we'll go with the dramatic entrance. Oh, we're getting punished with this thing now, the Velvet Choker. Left to play. We definitely double tap for Defected Strike. Let's just do that. Let's prevent the damage. It's going to summon. We're going to get a Whirlwind next turn. And I think our Whirlwind just ends this. I can feel it. It's right here. Whirlwind. See? Seeing red, whirlwind. Perfect. Start each combat with three thorns. Okay, I like that. We don't need the whirlwind. Rampage, eight. Increase this card. Damage by eight. Um, twin strike. Make our perfected strikes better. Two. Let's make our perfected strikes better. Oh, what is this, bro? Oh, nice. I like this one. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I guess that triggered this to draw three. That's funny. This thing's got a lot of freaking life. Oh, okay. It just dies. Fair enough. Strength, that's fun. That's a lot of minus. Almost half. It's not bad. Take another pommel strike.
three. Play three more cards. It's Thirty to each plus. The, no, this is just more. Just kill it. Just kill it. All right, so another perfected strike. We need to get those upgraded. Uh, we're going this way. Mummified hand. Whenever you play a power card, a random card in your hand costs zero. Okay, nice, nice. Um, yep, we're going up this way. Oh, nice, another one. Frozen egg. Powers are upgraded. All right. Smith. I think we're going to get one of these perfected strikes upgraded. Let's go elite and campfire. Nemesis. Okay. Let's go discovery. Zero. Two. Dang, we're taking a lot of damage. So you can play four more cards. One, two, three, four. Oh, well, we didn't have the energy for that. So. Okay, we're gonna take 12 here, but we pretty much killed it. So hopefully this turn we can end it. Oh, he's hitting us for a lot. Oh shit, he's intangible. Well, we're taking 33. We didn't draw any block. Well, maybe this will get us a block. Nope. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Meat on the bone. Hey, we could use that after that thing just hit the crap out of us. Oh, nice. Another heavy blade. Through here. Let's go ahead and rest. Get that. What is this thing? On receiving attack damage, switch. Alright. Mayhem. One more card. Get back. Our perfected strike. Oh, nice. Perfect block on this turn. Too. Take that. Weakened and vulnerable. Oh, we just killed this turn. We're perfecting our strikes. Bloodletting. Power through and combust. Let's go with the bloodletting. Definitely heal. Oh, shoot. We didn't need to heal. That was only 13 HP. And we're going to skip. Dang, we should have upgraded the last perfected strike there. Oh, well, we got the forge potion. Or we'll just upgrade everything in the deck. Do that. Alright. Oh, 
That was a big attack turn. Ah, company. <laughs> All right, geez. Six. Oh, this is going poorly. Alright, it's not doing anything to us. This is gonna be a good turn for us. Of course he draw garbage. Oh my goodness. I don't want to lose that, so we'll pop it. Oh my gosh, that was our turn to do some damage. Oh, uh, this is going poorly. Can do both. We're at 13. 22. Oh, we're dead. We're just dead. Oh, power through. Thank you. Okay. 62. We can do this. We can do this. Oh, it's not attacking. Okay. Yes! Woo! That thing almost destroyed us. <laughs> Meat on the bone and our heel. We're back to 31. Holy crap. All right, I like that first uh, first ascension down with the ironclad. 867 damage. Oh, I got Harry at the end there. That Time Lord almost got us. Victory. All right, ascension mode two unlocked. Got some new cards as well. Oh, nice new relics. Om Mamori. Negate the next two curses. Prayer wheel. Normal enemies drop an additional card reward. Oh, wow, that's pretty strong. Shovel. You can now dig for relics at rest sites. Okay, that's pretty cool. So you can unlock relics too. That was good. Let's go to the run history here. Alright. 
now we're in 27. I think that's about the time it took us to do the first one. Uh oh, we're at least pretty, pretty consistent with the ironclad. Our deck was ginormous. We got up to uh, Hearthstone levels of uh, 40 cards. But that was a nice little perfected strike deck, it looked like. Homo Strike, Perfected Strikes, Twin Strike, Regular Strike. We had very little defend, though. That was quite scary. I think we put way too many attacks in the deck. We were drawing tons of attacks. We almost got murdered there. Well, until the next time, appreciate you all. Peace out.